Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package from Urban EDC. So this is going to be our What's Hot for the week of June 7th. Now, it actually is June 7th right now with Blade Show and everything going on. I just didn't have a chance to do this sooner, and Urban EDC didn't have a chance to send me stuff sooner that just got here, um, and I happen to have a minute to do this. So... I'm gonna unbox this stuff and then I'm gonna do the uh, face cam version where we go over the drop. That is the plan right now. Uh, I will use the Baby Nessie, which I believe is still on pre-order at Urban EDC Supply or Urban EDC right now if you wanna go pre-order it. Link down below is to the gear drop. So you can follow that link uh, and then go find this piece. Or if you are looking for something on the drop, you can obviously uh, check that out at 3 p.m. Eastern when the drop goes live. But using my link helps the channel and I greatly appreciate it. So let's take a look in here. Very slicey M390 blade on there. We have something from Tactile. Something from Tactile. Urban EDC. We have something else. And we have a packing slip I'm not going to read. And we have this. That's it. All right. Let's take a look. Let's rip through here. I'm going to put this stuff to the side and we'll kind of work our way through. This is the Game Urban EDC Supply Copper Abyss Coin. Grab that Nessie again. See what we're working with. So, CH3, I guess Chapter 3, The Abyss. So they must be doing some kind of uh, series. Treasure Now, I'm definitely not reading all that, but you can definitely check them out on Instagram and YouTube. So check out Treasure Now. And then we have The Coin. Eh. Sorry, the bag was slipping. We have a magnet, which is pretty cool. X marks the spot, obviously. And then we have the coin. This is the Treasure Now coin. I think I got to check out the last one, too. Wasn't it like a Halloween type one? So here it is, the Abyss. Wow, that's crazy. It's got some kind of black stuff in there. It almost looks like tar. That's pretty damn cool. Treasure Now, there's your X... And it's over an octopus. Wow, this is dope. I don't know what these go for, but this is a very cool coin. If you are a coin guy, I think you will like... Ah! Sorry. <laughs> I think you will like this. All right. So there you go. I believe he's the uh, maker of these. Billy White. That's pretty cool. I'll leave the coin out, put everything else kind of up here. Let's see, what is next? We have the unknown box. What could be in the unknown? Oh, oh, cool. So this is the minimalist. If you guys remember last week, I was talking about this, but I couldn't really say one way or the other what I thought because um, I didn't have one in the hand. So this is the Everyday Minimalist Designed Urban EDC Minimalist. And uh, yeah, it's Brandon's design. This is up on pre-order right now. I believe they're $2.99, but retails $3.25 or $3.25. I can't remember. We can take a look on the face cam. We have thumb studs. So I thought they were the same as the uh, Baby Nessie, but the Nessie has these nice uh, sort of ribbed areas. This does not have that, but I think they're changing them. I'm not positive. Uh, we're dead centered. This is obviously manufactured by Riot. Not that they're going to say that, but it's obvious. Um, you can see they're using the F5.5 clip. Oh, crap. I don't. <laughs> I pulled it out like it was going to be the same. It's the clip that is usually on the F5.5. Forgot I swapped that. Um, some people don't like it because it can uh, be kind of palm stabby here. And yeah, I can feel that a little bit. Now, I'm not right-handed, so it doesn't really matter to me. But if you're uh, one of those people... Now, I will say it's a longer knife. So on the F5, you're going to be right here. On this, you might be up here, so it might not matter. Uh, let's give her a flick. Lock bar. Okay, there we go. Um, you have black G10, it looks like, on this one. 
Titanium frame lock on the other side. You can get, I can believe you can get this in black G10, black micarta, or full tie Sagaha pattern, which is pretty cool. There's a blue Sagaha, I think, blue. Um, we have a M390 blade. This is not a hollow grind. It'd be cool if they did a hollow grind. Uh, I believe they are changing this to a compound grind, which is pretty cool. So it'll have that sort of Chavez compound grind look. Um, it's a very straight design. Um, there's not much curvature or anything going on here. Um, let's see how it feels in the hand. Um, yeah, it just feels like a knife. Um, it's not like uber ergonomic, but it's not bad either. I do feel that clip quite a bit in the in the finger here, left-handed. Uh, right-handed, I get it kind of down here, um, but it's not actually bothering me, um, so that's good. Oop, sorry. Um, you have sort of a flat spot up here you could choke up on if you wanted to. Uh, again, it's very straight, but you can do it, no problem. I keep getting hit with that poke right there. Let's try that right-handed. Right-handed, yeah, I would maybe, if they're making changes, I would suggest doing something about this clip and uh, straight, putting a, a ramp right here, or, or sorry, putting a flat right here, plateau it a little bit so that it doesn't get you, because it does. Um, let's see, if I stay off the lock bar, I know the first time I was trying to get it and I was on the lock bar, so I wasn't flicking it. There you go, detent's good. Action's good. Try a reverse flick, right-handed. Yep, you can right-hand reverse flick it. I believe they're trying to make it thinner. It is a little bit thick, but it's not, like, chunky or anything. Left-hand thumb flick is good. Not going to be able to reverse flick this lefty unless I... Ugh. Yeah, there's no, uh, no lefty love here on this guy. Just because, you, you know, you have the lock bar, you're going to be on that. And there's no clip spot. So no lefty love. But if you like a thumb flick, it's good. It's got some heft to it. Um, it's a pretty hefty boy. Uh, hopefully they try to take some weight relief out of there. You can see, oh, there's actually a liner in here. So they're doing it like the F5 where on the F5.5, they have a liner on this side. So that you can swap scales and parts are uh, swappable with any model, which is really nice. Um, I like that concept, but there's a lot of weight in here. Uh, it'd be nice to, you know, free that up a little bit. You have a quarter backspacer. So, yeah, there you go. That is the Urban Minimalist. I'd say uh, it's a little bigger than I usually go for. And um, with the non-lefty friendly nature of it uh, and that clip, I, you know, I probably wouldn't pick one up, but I'm sure many of you are drooling over this design. So, um, hopefully you nabbed one. I can tell you it's made well. Um, it functions well right-handed. Yeah, very cool. would love to see a hollow grind, though. I'm guessing with the compound grind, maybe the back section here will be hollow, and that'll uh, make a big difference. That'll be really cool. So we have that guy, and then we actually have a new version, I believe, of the Baby Barlow. So this is one of my favorite knives of all time, essentially. Um, and they've made one in a jade. So not my favorite color pattern. I'm not a jade guy. Um, but it's going to... Wow, it's ultra lightweight, that's for sure. Let me just kind of tuck everything away here. Okay. Here is my uh, OG, whoops, here's my OG. Uh, again, one of my favorite knives. This is uh, one of my longest tenured knives. I don't keep all the knives I buy very long, um, just the nature of the channel and everything, but this knife is just so good. I could not, not have one. Um, this is my titanium one with the black G10 and I love it. And they now have a Jade G10 version. Dude, it's even lighter. Like, this is light. This is stupid. Like, oh, yeah. It looks good in jade. Damn, this knife is sexy. 
uh, stone wash blade. Uh, this one, I believe, also has a stone wash blade. So you can see there. Basically the same. It's just uh, jade instead of whoop, jade instead of uh, titanium there. See the action right out of the box. Wow. Yeah, it's just silly. This is a Justin Lundquist design. Um, I was happy uh, to meet up with him at Blade Show. Colin and I talked to him a bit at a Kaiser dinner and at his booth. Got to check out his new Daedalus uh, prototype. And um, this is my favorite design that he's done. I just absolutely love it so much. Um, they use tiny little bearings, so it feels like a full-size knife when you disengage it. And uh, the JG-10 looks sick. So I think these are actually dropping. Um, I might be wrong. We'll check on the uh, when we look at the drop. But I think these are actually dropping, and it's not a pre-order. Um, I believe it's M390 Steel. And I'm sure it's like 270 bucks, something like that. But um, such a damn cool knife. Yeah, that's the Baby Barlow in Jade. Let me put mine away here. Then we have a Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall Modern Dark Wash DLC. I don't know what that means. Oh, shit. Okay. Why does it say DLC? Modern Dark Wash DLC. All right, uh, maybe the, oof, I think that they DLC coated the handles and then blasted it or something, so it's got that dark wash look, I don't know, we'll look at the other one too, there's another one here, um, I don't know what that, it's a rock wall as well, it's the same knife, that's kind of weird, um, this one's in Sagaha pattern, man, it's gorgeous. I don't know if you guys remember the blurple one I had in. That one was, oh my God. The detail on this one is stout. Um, the way this knife is designed, you are shooting straight up because of the thumb stud placement. So it doesn't even need a detent really. Uh, so when it has a stronger one, it's like, oh man, that feels good. That's a good looking knife. Let's see what's in here because this looks like the same exact knife. Right? Yeah. Okay. We, we just got two of them? Is one for me, guys? Is that a hint? <laughs> Is that a hint? Look at that. We got doubles up in here. This one's a little tighter. The detent's a little lighter, but the um, action's a little tighter. Not, I don't mean the detent's light. I just mean it's a little lighter than that one. This one's perfect on detent, but I prefer the closing action on this one. But they will break in. I I have one of these, or I had one. It's hard to explain. One, of, it's out on uh, pass around, and it was a DLC one. I took it apart, put skips in there, and it was freaking fantastic. After that, a little bit of stick here, but uh, yeah, cool stuff. So. Dual, we got dual Sagaha tactile rock walls. Um, so there you go. That's the stuff they sent me to check out for this drop. Um, I'd say the star of the show for me is this Jade Baby Barlow. Just absolutely love this model to death. Um, and then uh, I got to uh, check out the Urban Minimalist. There you go. There's a look at it. For anybody who wanted to know my take on it before picking one up. There it is. All right. Uh, I'm going to flip over to face cam and uh, we'll go take a look at the uh, drop. And I'm back. All right. Let's take a look at the gear drop. So 6-7 is today and 3 p.m. Eastern is the drop. Try to get this video up. Uh, right before that, if possible. So here's the coin we checked out. This is the Treasure Now Copper Plated Abyss coin. It's 50 bucks. So I think 50 bucks for a copper coin with some dope-ass uh, details and inlay work and stuff like that is totally worth it if you are a coin collector. Looks like there's some of those available, which is nice. You have some combat beads, beads, which is cool. 60 bucks, no harm done. Excuse me, Zach Wood Tools Slender 
Bar Pry. Uh, one ninety nine on this bad boy right here, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know who Zach Wood is, but I think I've heard of him before. Um, so it has a clip, looks like it's a little pry bar, just does the job. I kind of like that. One ninety nine, a little pricey for a pry bar, but you know what? It looks like a lot of work goes into it. So uh, then we have some aluminum bronze versions of those uh, Odin's Eye and V prize we've looked at in the past. Uh, we have a Microtech UTX seventy two fifty nine. I think that's a pretty good price on that. Here is the Baby Barlow in Jade. Uh, yeah, definitely my favorite of the drop items. I just absolutely love this knife with a passion. And I'll be honest, guys, I freaking love it in Jade. I normally hate Jade. I have a hatred for Jade knives. But I really like this. I'm tempted to keep it if possible. Uh, which means pay for it. It's $239, and it looks like it is actually available. There's no pre-order or anything. You can pick this up. So if you've been waiting on the baby Barlow to come back in, I think this Jade one is a nice pickup for you. I'm a big fan, obviously, of the knife and the designer. Uh, yeah, man, this is sweet. This is one knife where I never felt like I needed to put skiffs in or anything like that. I don't think you can actually, but I never felt the need. I just play with it and it's good to go. Um, such a good knife. Um, and I'll be honest, the JG10 looks sick. This will look cool in like Ultim, wouldn't it? Uh, all right, so that's 239 I think that's a good price for that. M390, really good build. I don't know if everybody knows this, but some people think smaller knives should be cheaper. Um it's actually harder to make smaller knives because you need something to hold the parts that is that are being machined that are so small. Um, so yes, it's less material, but that's negligible. The amount of time and effort that goes into machining those small parts is actually difficult. So um, that is not a correct assumption that smaller knives should be cheaper. Uh, there's a Protec Malibu here in DLC, reverse tux. Looks like it has the tritium button. So this is the operator, I think. Um, and that's 325. That's I think that's a pretty good price for the operator version. Um, is that correct though? Does it have the tritium insert? Yeah, with tritium. So I think that's the operator edition for 325. Pretty good price. There's one left. You have the Raylight Pineapple Flashlight uh, in Stonewash Titanium for 79 bucks. That's pretty damn good as well. That is not the mini, that is the full size. Um, looks like we have a slingshot. We are not responsible for any injury, accidents, or property damage caused by this product. Please wear appropriate safety equipment and keep out of reach of children. <laughs> That's great. Uh, it's called the Little Menace, and it's made out of wood? Oh, it's sold out. Damn. Uh, here's the Raylight Triple Dawn sold out. Uh, you have some daily customs, 84 millimeter sacks. These are $259. You can get the Bantam. Or the waiter. So that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like they have some kind of Moku Tai inlay. That's pretty dope. Um, and then you have some mini Truodons for $439. Hot damn, that's expensive. Um, that, I mean, you know, I'm guessing they pay full retail for those. Um, I'm not seeing these um, rock walls. So I don't know if the rock wall is from a previous drop. Or uh, what? Let's take a look. Yes. So here's the rock wall. They're calling it a dark wash. And yeah, I'm not sure why I have two of them here, but I have two of them here. They are 350 and they're in Magna Cut, I'm pretty sure. Um, good thumb stud action on these. Yeah. 350 on that. And then we have the uh, minimalist. We can look at that again. 299. So I was right about that. 299 on pre order for the G10. Uh, my Carta is 299. And the Sagaha is 350. 350 bones for the Sagaha. So let's take a look at that Sagaha. Oh, I thought it. I swear it was blue. I must be mixing it up with another knife. Sorry. Um, so it's actually not blue. It's this. 
So it's not even a Sagaha pattern, really. It's a, um, I don't know what you'd call it, but it looks pretty cool. So it's some kind of a laser pattern. I think this is a mock-up, so that's not exactly what it'll look like. Probably look better in real life, but it looks pretty cool, actually. Um, I kind of wanted the uh, the all blue Sagaha one that I thought I saw, but I must be thinking of another knife. Um, and that one again is three fifty. So if you want to get one that's more affordable, two ninety nine with G ten or micarta. Um, so there you go on that. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that wraps up this week's what's hot at Urban EDC for the June seventh drop link down below use that shit help your boy out and uh moral of the story is get yourself a jade baby barlow this is my moral of the story i think this is an absolute home run i love this knife so much and um man you just can't beat this thing look at that it's one of the best no it is the best fifth pocket knife you can get um love the uh clip nice milled clip mounted from the inside good retention so good for a fifth pocket you can see those screws underneath the clip that's what holds the liner in such a nicely done nested liner as well titanium liner just man they killed it on this justin killed it on this design react killed it urban adc killed it it's just a fantastic product so check that out Check out the rock walls. Check out the coin. Check out the coin. Check out the uh, Urban Minimalist right here. Slurpee saver. Ooh. Minimalist is a Slurpee saver. Who, who to thunk it, Brandon? All right. Love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Thank you to Urban AEC for sending me this stuff to check out and show you guys. I hope you have a great day. And I will catch you.